In this video, we're going to try to get Bard AI to create some mid-journey prompts for some Marvel comics. I'm just going to give it some ideas, ask it some questions, and then I'm going to pull up mid-journey and I'm going to see how it does with the prompt. So let's get going. So I'm going to use the microphone here and I'm going to use its ability to uh, tap into the internet to kind of see what it can do as far as prompts for us. So I'm going to ask it, can you provide me with 10 high quality, highly detailed prompts of Spider-Man as he would look in the same artistic style as Marvel comic books. And we'll see what that does. I uh, was messing with this earlier and I didn't get um, exactly what I wanted. So uh, what I'm looking at now, this is good. Uh, what it had done before is it had gone and had like defined art styles like cubism and like realism, like Baroque. And I was like, I don't want Spider-Man in a Baroque style. I just want like Spider-Man in like a Marvel comic book style. So it looks like we have some pretty good breakdown here. So I'm actually going to uh, grab this prompt and we're going to go over here and I'm going to throw it in. And it'll take uh, just a second to kind of get that to cross over. So I'm going to take another one. Let's see. I'll say um, Spider-Man standing on top of a building. And we're going to see um, what this provides. I think it's going to be pretty good. And what, what I'm going to do, though, is I'm going to challenge it. I'm going to, I'm going to give it back a prompt. Um, so we got this one, right? So... Spider-Man fighting a giant monster. Um, so I'm going to say, I'll do a little bit of hybrid. Uh, can you, you take this prompt and then make the monster into 10 different possible villains in the Marvel Universe? So I'm going to see what it comes up with. It should give prompts in that style and so let's see I want it to be in that style but I want it to give me the prompts okay great thank you for giving me a list of those villains now I want you to take that prompt that I just gave you and then make the prompt be about spider-man wrapping one of those villains in a web this is wrapping and I'll have to put a W in front of there and send it. And so I'm going to see if it'll give me one prompt or, um, or not. Okay. So here's a prompt about Spider-Man, uh, but this is really a, a story. So what I'm going to say now is I'm going to say, cool. Can you turn this into a mid journey prompt? And I do think it sort of, uh, it dances around and it has some challenges getting to um, the actual meat and potatoes of, of what's needed. I'll just say, can you make the prompt look like this? And I'm curious to see if it'll take the context of Green Goblin and then mixing that together. But it didn't. Um, it didn't take... Uh, it didn't take that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, um, I'm just going to take part of this right here. I'm going to put that right here. And then we're going to look at the prompts that we got so far. So um, <clears throat> let's see. Here's some of the visuals that we got. Overall, kind of a weird visual for Mid Journey. Um, I have done a lot with this and some of my other videos. So I know that they can get like certain prompts can get Spider-Man to um, be much better. So I'm actually going to test this because I know ChatGPT can do this. So I'm going to provide this prompt back to Bard. And I'm going to say this prompt does not show Spider-Man in a clear visual like uh with a suit that makes sense. I don't know. We'll see how that works. Um, can you redefine this prompt to give 
Uh, mid journey clarity on what the spider suit should look like. So I'm curious to see if it'll take the prompt. I know ChatGPT could do this very easily. So okay, so here's a mid journey prompt: a dramatic, high quality image of Spider-Man standing in front of a destroyed city. Um, great. Um, the one thing I would say is that I'm pretty sure that mid journey requires some prompts that are specifically uh, that define the size. And so I'll just paste this in, but I don't think that it's going to work. So I'm going to say, thank you. I think it needs those specifics. Okay, cool. So this um, mixed Green Goblin and Spider Man together, which is not, um, and this is some of this is on Mid Journey side. So that's, that's important uh, to take note of. But just uh, kind of, I'm, I'm measuring all of this against what I know of ChatGPT and its capabilities. Okay. So let's see what else. Okay, great. Can you give me 10 more prompts, but then make the prompts more detailed in every way? I want the prompts to be highly visually detailed so that Midjourney doesn't have any confusion about how to convey a scene from a Marvel comic book involving Spider-Man. So we're going to see how that goes. <clears throat> and I asked for 10 prompts. So, you know, we're asking for some refinement and um, let's see what we get. Okay, so let's run this. Oh, okay, cool. Let me check this out right real quick. Okay, so this is our refined um, image. And so it's not uh, super good, but I am going to upscale two because this one I think has some, some possibility to it. And I'm going to respin the whole thing because I think that that um, does have something going on. Now, Spider Man swinging through the city at night. That's a pretty easy one, I'd say. So let's do this. Let's go. Oh, Spider-Man rescuing a person from a burning building. That should be kind of challenging. Let's see if it got a prompt that can create that. And let's see. Um, Spider-Man comforting a child who is scared. I think that's a pretty complex one. I want to. I just want to test the limits of Midjourney to see if it'll actually provide the scene. The scene. You know, one thing that's hard with these prompts is actually breaking out. You know, there's Spider-Man, and then there's a separate person, and they're interacting in this way, and this person has this expression, and this person has this expression. That's a pretty complicated one. So, um, the prompts usually, by default, they don't, they don't get it right. Like you see here, um, Spider-Man rescuing a person from a burning building. We just have this warped and tangled Spider-Man. We don't have him carrying a person or anything like that. So, um that prompt by default not not too good um these are all right uh and then this is interesting right here so it's a high quality image of spider-man smiling as he holds up a sign that says something on it all right uh words are definitely a problem for mid journey so we'll see how it works out with that um, the one of Spider-Man comforting a child who is scared. So this is a little bit better, but it's, it's kind of funky with the faces and the hands and the posture. So some of these are, are okay. Um, and I'm going to respin that just to see if we get any other better variations, but that definitely did not work. This wild looking um I, I don't even know what's going on in half of these it looks like some some russian um and then this smile is just terrifying and the half face spider-man uh mask is just it's it's not it so anyhow some of the prompts coming out of bard i think i've seen better for mid journey but obviously um you want to take these prompts and then you want to make them a little bit better but overall um you know 
it's just important to know that this is, I think, about the level that Bard's at with um, these things. So one of the things I'm going to do to challenge it is I'm going to ask it about some of the advanced um, features in MidJourney's documentation that could, could help us out with uh, providing some better prompt. Can you take these 10 prompts that you just gave me and then implement some of MidJourney's advanced features for aspect ratio and quality uh, to make these prompts more interesting visually? So we're going to send that and we'll see if it comes back. I know roughly what I'm looking for. And I, I, what I wanted to do is to go in and, and grab, yeah, the aspect ratio and the quality and then um, do something with that. So it, it gave us this, but it didn't give us this in prompt form. So I'm going to say, and that's, that's a flaw that I would, I would say. Cool, can you take all of this information you just gave me and then turn it into a textual string that I can copy and paste into MidJourney that provides the aspect ratio, the quality, and all that stuff. Okay. And let's see if it does. Um, and it really didn't. I'm looking for the actual syntax of how MidJourney would want you to represent the aspect ratio and the quality. Because I'm almost certain that it, it would be like AR11. Yep, kind of like this. And so I'm going to say, yes, exactly. Now can you give me those prompts in the style of what MidJourney would want with that exact syntax that you just gave me from the code snippet, but then apply it to all of those Spider-Man prompts you just gave me. And so I'm having to clarify a lot with it. So one thing to think about with Bard is that, you know, it's, uh, it's doing a lot. Uh, so this is okay. Let's see about this. Um, let me go ahead and copy and paste this in. So I'm gonna imagine, um, I'm going to put that in there. I'm going to throw a couple more things. Um, and we'll see how all these come out. Let's see. Another one about Spider-Man fighting a giant monster. And I think the aspect ratio and um, the quality, I think, are probably going to work because they do match what is being asked um, over here. So that's great. And I'm going to see that comes out. And yeah, so... This is pretty cool. These are a lot better. Um, the aspect ratio is definitely really cool. I'm actually going to upscale a couple of these and just sort of see um, what we can do. Uh, this prompt right here, it actually does look like it has Spider-Man actually fighting something. And so I don't know why the aspect ratio or the quality would have um, added to that, but it looks like it did. And I think we're going to get some weird situations here. Um, looks like we're going to get the same scenario we did with the with the sign holding up, but that's okay. Um, Spider-Man here. Um, definitely a weird situation here. Too much going on with the teeth, turning him into Hulk and all that. Um, over here, kind of a weird thing. You got like a giant Spider-Man. I don't know about that. And then with this one, too much teeth. The masks are weird. Um... And we got whatever Italian Russian uh, situation that we got over here with the words. So definitely, words are not coming through. That's fine though. That's like part of mid journey. That's not something I think we would blame on Bard. But overall, these prompts are a little bit uh, more interesting. And it took me a little bit to actually get the prompts to come out right in Bard um, the way that I wanted them. But they did come out eventually, and then they did give me some prompts. Right, so I could say. I think now I could say, hey, can you give me 
10 prompts just like this one, but they are all for Captain America. And so we'll see if that spins and we'll see if it keeps the same kind of format and it does. And so I'm actually going to take this <clears throat> and I'll run some of these through. And we'll see how that works out. Um, and this rescuing a person thing with Captain America, that's going to be interesting. Let's go ahead and see what's up with that. Run all these through. Okay, we hit the maximum number of jobs. Awesome. Exactly what we want to do. Uh, let's go ahead and grab another prompt here. We're, we're, we're waiting for this to spin up. So let's see. Um, Captain America fighting a giant monster. Cool. And then this one right here. They are almost identical visual scene depictions. Okay, I think this one is pretty cool. Hands are all jacked up. Um, what we could start doing is trying to get uh, some implementation of negative prompts. And I think that would just be um, something we'd have to ask uh, if we can implement in there. And that kind of gets into advanced prompting a bit. Uh, we got some pretty good ones of Captain America. I think wrinkled shirt over here. Um, I think this one over here is pretty good. I'm going to grab that. The Spider-Man one, um, pretty cool, but this weird cape going on. Hands are jacked up. <clears throat> some things don't really change in mid-journey. Everything else is very cool, though. So if you were actually to come in and crop this, it could be a little bit better. Um, let's see. Okay, cool. We got um, Captain America, and we have like references to multiple people, but we don't have... Um, we only got a soldier carrying out like a person that looks kind of like Voldemort in the first Harry Potter movie. I don't know what's going on with that. Some of these are pretty good. And these ones actually have a Captain America type figure actually fighting something that is a monster. So they're blending the visuals together in a way that I don't, I don't think is uh, really what we wanted, but it's headed in that direction. So um, overall, I would say that Bard, uh, it takes a lot of um, push to get it to what you want. I think you have to be really explicit. And then even when you're really explicit, it does kind of push off um, what you said and it'll just give you some kind of broad um, like ideas. Um, but with that being said, not bad. And overall, I, th I think I think this is pretty good. I do like the speech text thing. I'm I'm kind of addicted to that, and that's something that um, I definitely need. To that would be awesome to have be integrated into ChatGPT. That's that's not yet. But overall, if you hung out with me for this entire video, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.